So one of the most interesting story of Yog Vashisht is the story of Leela and Saraswati. Leela was a queen who, due to his actions, due to his prayers, he propitiated his, you know, made Saraswati happy. You know, Saraswati today we know has a goddess of, you know, passing exams, right? But Saraswati was traditionally the go goddess of wisdom, the ultimate wisdom of Brahma Gya, not about passing exams. Anyway, and she got one boon that whenever she is in trouble, she will get her, I mean, she will come to her. So her husband died and she was really sad. And she started praying for her, Saraswati arrived as promised. And then the story begins from there. She took her in her astral form and showed him her multiple universes in universes where and universes within the confines of his own palace and that palace was within the, that universe was within the confines of another heart so universes within universe multiverses traveling through multiverses how time is different in these universes some of the time is traveling fast some of the time is traveling slow and this is not in one place they have told this is in multiple places replete with this so you know the things they covered was the multiverses nowadays there are like half a dozen theories and i'll cover some of them which talk about the multiverses and how science thinks that there's a very real possibility and they're actually searching to find multiverses universes within the confined space or you know that is explained to carl dimensions different rate of time relativity right but i'll get into more details of this right this is, this is a simple chapter then we'll get into something more interesting more you know um, into experimental physics so i talked about the leela sharashwati right that there's one small phrase i would like to quote in the majestic infinite consciousness universes come and go in each atom like specks of dust in beams of light shining through a hole in the roof. See, whenever you, you, some sunlight falls through the window or some places, you often see there are dust particles, right? In, in Sanskrit, we say trash renu, in, in which probably pollen grains or dust particles. That is what it is there. There is a fantastic story in the Puran about, you know, Indra hiding inside one of them and creating his own universe. But, but you see, these stories are replete. This is not something we have thought about. And what is the time frame? Time frame of this is the same as Ramayan in the early part of Ramayan. Right? Yes. Yeah. What? So, universe within the dust particle. How is it possible through Carl dimensions? Right? We, we see the space through our three dimensions. If we ignore time for a moment. But there are other dimensions. Like imagine things in a two-dimensional space, right? And think, so what you see small in a two-dimensional space, maybe massive in a three-dimensional space. So the size in your dimension may not correlate the size in the other, when other dimensions are brought into the picture. So if anything is in Vedant and if it cannot explain something which is in the real world, then that theory should be questioned. For example, Einstein's theory of relativity, it applies to very high speed objects right near the speed of light yes. but the same theory at the low speed can explain the Newtonian physics Einstein's theory at low speed explains the Newtonian physics the three laws of motion and everything so similarly any theory which is supposed to explain the universes and beyond if it breaks down at the normal level then we have a problem right then I will briefly touch upon another story this one is from Tripura Rahasya very briefly so there was this you know this story about a son of a saint who just goes in a hill a small hillock and brings in a huge army out of it and you know it was surprising there was nothing in that hillock to bring a huge army ultimately you know when investigated and when it found out that there was an entire universe existing within that small hill right so, so that there they talk about again two of the concepts universe within a small confined space there they also talk about the differential rate of time so when he comes out after a day he finds out that many years have passed 
And even in Purans, you will find a lot of stories. Like, for example, if someone goes to Brahma Lok and comes back and like thousands of years have passed. You know, these are like common stories everywhere. But can they be real? I mean, that's a fantastical stories, right? I mean, this sounds like, as you said, mythology. Let's find out if there is a reality behind the mythology. So, how many of us scientists today actually believe in multiverse? But then we look into the actual theories which explains that. Yeah,